Pardon. I've explored a few alien ruins in my time. Dangerous places. But you know me. I love dangerous places. Did I miss anything while I was traveling? Not too much. Just the usual bickering between Tamrith and Doral. Ah. It's starting to wear on my nerves, truth be told. Hmm. I needed a little quiet time. You could probably find the Countess and the Baron up ahead arguing about something or another. Probably. I don't think Darren would take me stealing stuff. Hi, Brandon. My friend, I am sorry you had to be the one to end Lorea's troubled existence. It was unfortunate, but necessary. And now, if we are to save Rivenspire, we must engage in another unfortunate act. The time to deal with Baron Montclair is upon us. Are you sure Baron Montclair is here? Montclair is here. Of that there oh. can be no doubt. He awaits atop the Doomcrag, where he somehow activated ancient defenses to block our path. Oh. We need to find a way around these defenses and then set up portals to transport our troops up the mountain. Oh, what can I do to help? The book we uncovered at Locrata contains maps of the ruins, among other things. These maps show two portal chambers leading to the top of the Doomcrag. Oh. If you can reach the first chamber and open a portal, we can begin moving troops into position. All right, I'll find a way to reach the first portal chamber. Be on your guard. In addition to activating ancient defenses, Montclair has somehow awakened the alien guardians that haunt these ruins. You may have to deal with them as well as you make your way into the first portal chamber. All right, well, thank you for the warning. Oh, here it is. It's in the spider web. Okay. The large door straight ahead. Clearly, that's the main entrance. That's the way we should proceed. This door is closer. It could provide a shorter oh. path. Perhaps fewer blood feeds <laughs> I have to that contend with. I'd rather cut through the enemies I can see than walk blindly into something I can't. The ruins might be full of traps. My dear Baron, you have an annoying habit of never listening to a word I say. You'll do as you please, as usual. All right. Uh, sorry. It's just look at that. That is really pretty. I want that in my house. I mean, my actual house where I live. Okay. Oh, wait a second. It wasn't lit up while they were talking. Okay. We still like no waiting. Hello. And I found that Never fear. Like. The amazing Darian is here. <laughs> no, no, Darian, no. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Darian, you are not taking on entire guardian all by yourself. Okay, here is a circle of protection for all of us. And we'll heal too. I love you, Darian, but oh my gosh, you are. You're not really good at taking care of yourself. Alright. He's the little brother I never had. Alright. Another battle, another victory. Go on ahead. Yeah. I'll stay here and guard the door. Yeah. All right. Okay. Portal is open. I knew you would find the chamber and open the portal. All right. Can we like have a view that's not? Put the portal in back I then. knew you would find the chamber and open the portal. As our troops emerge from the portal and take a position outside, you need to it's make so your bright. way to the second portal chamber. Once you activate that portal, we can get the troops that much closer to the top of the Doomcrag. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. 
We must step through each door we come upon in turn. For now, you need to reach the second portal chamber. Okay. I should have worn my sunglasses for this. Go on. The second portal chamber should be on the third level. I want to make sure. Alright. Alright. Oh, the barrier blocks our way. Look around and see if you can find a way to disable it. Awake! Okay. The long eons of silence have finally come to an end. I speak in the coarse tongue of our servants, so that you may understand. I... Knowledge is the key that opens this door, and none may pass who have not gained knowledge. I wrote it down at some point. <sighs> so the knowledge okay. of which, tell me, what is the time of dawning? Of birth and nourishing rain? Okay, not Wesley. Awake! Tell me, time moves forward as sweet. Okay. Flowing water brings new life and new promises. Wesley, whatever. Okay, great. A time of light and joy and abundant growth. Long hot days give way. The cycle advances as the golden sun fills each long day. And end comes to all things. And like dust comes before the night. Stop making me Awake, do thing. and then comes to all. Awake, and then comes a time of reaping. Yeah, tell me true. The last cycle, our duty okay. has been fulfilled. The barrier has the, fallen. The clues don't really make Morgan sense. Chamber should be just a short way ahead. I'm not. I've done it three times. That there is a way to go about it, but it doesn't actually make sense. Because the uh, person who does those, they didn't, they don't, I don't know where they grew up, but it doesn't, we don't have seasons like that here in Texas. The Doom Crag waits just beyond this chamber. The Doom Crag and Baron Montclair. Maybe it's like a Canadian thing, or I don't know. But Tex, but summers here are long and hard. And the uh, earth is parched. Alright, for now. Hey! No! You dumb! Get back in there. The Doom Crag waits just beyond this chamber. Why? The Doom Crag and Come here! Baron Come here, you s I don't know if I'll ever get used to traveling by portal. One moment you're there, the next moment you're here. It's possibly uh -huh. disconcerting. It's annoying. So how fair is the battle? Better than I expected. We met with some resistance. But thanks to your efforts, we've been able to move our troops quickly through this death trap. Uh-huh. Alright, so are we ready for some dumb crap? We should be, once everyone has come through the portal. Uh -huh. Why don't you check with Count Ravenwatch and see if he's ready? I hate to say it, but his knowledge has been invaluable on in all this. Alright, good to know. Dead. I'm trying to talk some sense into the Countess. She needs to abandon all this light nonsense and start trusting in herself and her own mm. abilities. Besides, she's much too pretty to hide her head inside a prayer book all the time. So you want her to abandon her faith for? Alright, so how's the talk going to fall? I think I'd have better success coaxing an ogrim into my bed. The Countess won't listen to a word I say. She's convinced that religion is the answer to all our troubles. After this, I'm done with House Tamrith and beautiful nobles. Alright, well thank you for saying this through to the end. Wouldn't be the first time I did something crazy, now would it? I'm in this until the end. After that, well I'm sure something else will come along. He didn't hit on me. Every time I've done this, I've been nice to him. He hits on me. Is that a woman-only thing? Is that a female character? Did somebody think that it was a good idea for anybody who picks a female character to have Darian endlessly flirt with them? Don't don't do that. Don't do that. That's that that's bad. Darian does not treat women the same way that he treats men. That is really, really obvious now. Oh my god. Darian is scum. 
I will never look at Derry in the same way again. He absolutely does not respect me. Not if I'm a woman. All he thinks about is sleeping with me. That he is scum. I never really thought this day would come. But it is what Verandas has been training me for. I guess we're really going in there. Into the Doom Craig. It's a bit scary, yeah. but I'm with Verandas to the end. Are you sure you're ready for that? I've seen the pain Verandas has suffered because of this place. It tortures him. Verandas has always been there for me. Always. I'll do anything for him. If that means invading the Doom Crag, then so be it. All right. So you care for Verandas, don't you? Probably more than he'll ever know. But that's besides the point. We need to end this and make things right. Even if we have to die to accomplish that. Okay. Once again, you succeeded at the task set before you. Well done, my friend. All right, I think everyone is here from past songs. A battle won, but the war rages on. We must reach the lightless remnant and destroy it. But Montclair will grow more desperate the closer we get to that cursed relic. Are you ready, my friend? Yeah. Once more, I fear that Montclair will have a surprise or two waiting for us within the Doom Crag. I suddenly have the feeling that bringing an army up here was a terrible mistake. A mistake? What are you talking about? Never mind that now. We must reach the lightless remnant and end this madness. Tell the troops to remain here. They need to make sure none of Montclair's soldiers follow us up into the Doomcrag. Alright, you had us bring the troops all the way up here, just to Sangar. Do not question me. If my orders aren't followed to the letter, Montclair will defeat us, and Revenspire will be lost. Talk to Countess Tamreth and Baron Doro. Tell them what I have said. Then meet me at the bridge that leads to the Doomcrag. Alright, I'll pass on your order to the Doro and Alright. What word, my friend? Is Verandas ready for the troops to ascend the Doom Crag? Yeah, Verandas has ordered the troops to remain here and guard our flank. Remain behind and deny them the glory of being there when we achieve victory? Never! When Verandas starts his march to the top of the Doom Crag, we will be with him every step of the way. Uh, Verandas is worried about Montclair's forces regrouping, regrouping behind us. I'll leave enough soldiers to protect our flank, but our best soldiers <sighs> are coming with me. Oh, Tell the Count that we're coming with him, whether he likes it or not. Okay. Jack. Okay. Do you believe that man? And to think I know. I thought him to be dashing and heroic. But enough of such matters. You aren't here to discuss my personal life. Tell me, what news from Count Ravenwatch? Are we yeah, ready to march against Montclair? Verandas wants the troops to stay here and guard our flank. And as a little girl, I wanted a pet guar I could decorate with ribbons and call Penelope. But we don't always get what we want, especially in war. The light has guided us this far. It is not done with us yet. So you're not going to do as Brandis asks? I thought I made that clear. The Count has been an invaluable ally, but he is not in charge of this expedition. My troops have served us well. They deserve to see this through to the end. Tell the Count that we're going with him to Doomcrag. Okay. I just... I just thought Derry flirted with everyone. I just thought that's who he was. No, apparently he's a sexist pig. And that's why he always treats me the way he does. Old mortal, you must go no farther. Okay. Turn back now and take okay. the other mortals with you. Oh. Your flesh and blood is too fragile to withstand the power of the cursed relic. All right. Why do you try to stop us, spirit? We only seek to save you from the fate that befell us so very long ago. Mm -hmm. This place is cursed, tainted mm. by a terrible power that has grown corrupted and impure. We do oh, not we know. wish to see you succumb to its vile touch. Okay, go on. When we came to this land many eons ago, we brought with us a powerful relic to help us tame its wilderness and allow us to survive. Mm -hmm. I like this room, that. It was originally Latanya, 
The light of life. Forged by our greatest sorcerers. It helped plants grow and healed illnesses. Oh, wow. It helped us bring life to this barren wilderness. And what happened? We were attacked by the savages that dwelled here before us. It was a brutal fight, and much blood was spilled. Many died on both sides of the conflict. Blood and death tainted the light of life. The relic changed. The relic was cursed. It became Abagandra, oh. the lightless remnant, a beacon of death. Moreover, when the vampire touched it, the corruption intensified, became oh. more potent. If the relic is destroyed, the blood curse will flow unhindered throughout the land. That sounds bad. So much. You must do exactly as I taught you. Yes, the power of the remnant will call to you, tempt you. You must be strong enough to withstand that lure. I'm ready for this. You know that. Stop treating me like I'm a novice, Verandis. I won't fail you. I won't let you down. You have never disappointed me, Gwendis. But the remnant is more powerful than you can imagine. Be on your guard. Now head inside. I'll join you in a moment. I know Sporto is sexist too, but all the orcs are sexist, so, you know, it's just, uh, that's the way he was raised, and, uh, he still lets me fight with him, so, I mean, it's just, like, not stopping him from anything that he does, it's just, uh, the way he talks. I mean, he just, he doesn't treat me differently, but, uh, Darian's, uh, all, his uh, his dialogue is entirely changed because I'm a man. I hate that. Because it really, really exemplifies how he sees me because I'm a woman. And that he sees nothing else about me, even though I've... I'm the hero of the Ebonheart Pact, and I am soon going to be the hero of the Darkwall Covenant, and I am... Sweet Mary. That is depressing. Okay. I trust you have spoken to Tamrith and Dorel. Are the soldiers standing yeah. guard at the second portal? Uh, Tamrith and Dorel won't wait. They won't see this through to the end. The fools! I just wish I would have realized our mistake before we made it this far. Yeah, you mentioned that before. I didn't think. Didn't realize that our proximity to the Remnant would be our undoing. The Remnant feeds off life, devours it. Mm. Not only will Gwendis and I be susceptible to its lore, but the soldiers. They're just more fodder for the blood curse. Oh, I could try to make them see reason. No, it's too late for that now. We have to move forward and hope we're not overwhelmed by our own forces. Okay. If any of them turned into blood fiends, I promise to end their suffering as quickly as possible. Okay. Ah. This is where it happened. Where Layla died, and Montclair changed. Where are Montclair's forces? I thought for sure we'd have to fight a horde of blood fiends to make it through this place. Montclair is a strategist. He's waiting for us to make a mistake that he can take advantage of. I fear that mistake is about to be made. Soldiers, spread out. Secure this chamber. my warning, Baron. This is no place for you. You would deny our moment of glory, Count? The light shines on us this day. There is no light here, Countess. Only darkness and death. R.K., protect us. What is that? Baron Montclair. He's here. Troops, on my command. Welcome, Ferrandis. And like a good guest, 
I see you've brought me gifts to play with. Allow me to grant my blessing to your army. This is exactly what I feared. He's turned our own troops into blood fiends. Mm -hmm. Those who you care about turn against you, Mirandus. How does it feel? Wife. My daughter. You've taken everything I ever loved, Miranda. I'm, I'm sorry. I never meant for any of this to happen. My daughter loved you, Verandis. She loved you! The Remnant. The power. It drove Lorea insane. Are those giant skeletons? Come out and face us, you coward. You can't hide from us forever. Wyland, please. We can find a way to free you from this power. To what end, my old friend? My wife is dead. My daughter killed by your own hand. After that was me. What do I have if not this power? I think I'd prefer to let you experience my pain. My suffering. To let you see what it's like to lose everything you hold dear! Oh, no, Montclair! Stop this madness! Come, Gwendis. You look famished. Allow me to prepare you a feast fit for my new queen. No, Montclair, please! I never should have brought everyone here. I should have handled this on my own. You're in danger as well. Montclair will eventually try to use you against me. Will he take the others? Montclair has never left the Remnant Chamber. He was able to defeat us by working through a projection. I assume he's teleported Gwendis and the others to his side. How do we stop Montclair? I'm still connected to the one who turned me. The answer to our problem rests with him. If we are going to defeat Montclair, you must trust me this one last time. One I will not betray you. The one who turned you? We can discuss that later. For now, we need to reach Gwendis before the Remnant corrupts her and she feasts upon the others. Head upstairs and I'll follow right behind you. Alright, let's go find Gwendis. I can feel them. Yeah. Gwendis, Tamrith, and Doral are still alive. But I can also feel Gwendis's hunger. She won't be able to hold back much longer. We must be ready to do whatever is necessary. Let's All go. Right, let's get there as fast as we can. It's a race. I'll catch up. It's fine. Be on your guard. Montclair will do everything he can to stop us. Quintus? What has he done to you? Verandus, help. Please, help me. Their blood smells so good. These restraints. They won't hold me back much longer. You must control yourself, Gwendis. We'll find a way to get you out of there. 
Show yourself, Wyland. Tell me what you want. Montclair, answer me! I'm sorry, my friend, but it seems we're going to have to play Montclair's game to free the others. Finally. If we don't get Gwendis out of there soon, those restraints All will right. break and she'll feed on the nobles. Okay. Montclair has constructed a blood ward to imprison Gwendis and the others. Mm -hmm. The remnant, its proximity is playing havoc with Gwendis's hunger. The urge to feed is stronger in her than ever. Uh huh. He's using alien magic to increase the power of the ward. I'll do my best to dispel it, but I think we'll need to destroy the statues if I'm going to have any chance to succeed. Destroy the statues. protect me while I attempt to unravel the spell. Wait, what? Am I destroying the statues or you? All right. Montclair will strike when I'm distracted. You must keep me safe okay. or we'll never reach Gwendis in time. Mm -hmm. One more thing. Watch for an opportunity to destroy the statues. As All long right, as they I power the ward, the my efforts will be less effective. All right. Are you ready? Then may luck be upon us both. Great. Destroy a statue. destroy them when the gargoyles are around? I don't, I don't know. The, uh, it has not been made clear to me. Okay, wait, did I destroy it? Good. Just it already. Wait, did I destroy two of them? Oh, hey. Okay, three out of four, so bad. I'm going to fight through the statue. All of them. Wendis, are you all right? I... I did it. I resisted. I didn't feed. Wait. Yay. What happened to the nobles? Did... Did I remember wrong? They're fine. They're nearly unconscious. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of your restraint, Gwendis. Yeah. What's yeah, going on in here? Is the Countess all right? Darian, slow down! Wait for me, you long-legged... Baron and the Countess are fine, yeah. but you both arrived just in time to move them to safety. Take them out? But we just got here. We want to help take down Montclair. Neither of us has had a good fight in... Well, but it's been at least a couple minutes. No, Darian, this battle is not one that you and Scordo can win. Leave Montclair to us. But... but... oh, very well. But I get to help take down the next would-be world conqueror we come across. Deal? As you wish, brave Darian. As you wish. And now, Maybe my friend, learns to respect time has come to face Montclair. 
Oh, it's up to Squirtle before we go. Look at this. We leave you alone for a bit, and look what happens. The Countess, the Baron, even the little vampire. Down and out for the Count. Well, we're here now. So what are you waiting for? Go and kick Montclair's- Alright. I mean, he- Well, he treats me like anyone, so... Anyway, goodness. I can't talk to him. Let's see what Darian has to say. still breathing. That's a good sign, right? Of course it is. All right, what happened at the pub? Montclair's forces tried to assault our camp. We held them off, though. Our mages put up some wards, so they should be fine without us. Scordo and I decided to come lend a hand. All right, just keep the bear and the countess safe. We've got this covered. Just watch out for yourself up there. Don't do anything foolish, like dying heroically or something. I try to avoid any kind of dying, heroic or otherwise. Besides, I'd rather you survive. Now go and do what you do best. Yes, yes. Now go and do. Now go and do what you do best. You know, that's fine. I'm. I'm going to look at my vods. I'm going to see if he said that to me before, because I've played women every time I've done Rivenspire. And, uh... Oh. Rivenspire needs Tamrith and Orel. They cannot be allowed to perish here. I need to help get them to safety before I join you up above. Are you sure that they need Tamrith? And Durrell? I mean, Durrell, uh, okay. Anyway, I thought Squirtle and Darian would take care of that. They will, with my help. Besides, I can't face Montclair just yet. There oh. are preparations I must make to ensure our success. Oh. But time grows short, and you must distract Montclair to give me time I need for my preparations. So I'm just gonna be a distraction. Okay. If Montclair dies while connected to the Remnant, the Relic breaks and unleashes its curse upon Rivenspire. No one back. would be safe from the Blood Fiend Plague. Yeah. We need to stop Montclair, but we need to do so in a way that doesn't doom Rivenspire. How do we do that? That, my friend, is what I still need to work out. And oh. while I do that, I need you to keep Montclair busy. You have okay. done more than I ever hoped, my friend, and I am proud to have fought beside you. Now go. We both have jobs left to do. Thank you. Okay, Miranda treats me the same whether I'm a man or a woman. I just like, I'm the same person. I'm the same player. So, um. There's really no reason. There's not like there's a woman debuff. Male or female, it doesn't change anything, so... Yeah, that, that really annoys me. Hey, buddy. I'll make you pay for taking my daughter's life! Yeah, yeah. Come here. Let the power of the remnants wash over you! Aha, uh -huh, right. There's All right. Now that that's done. Probably going to do that one more time. The remnant and I are one. Its power flows through me. Yeah, yeah. Get back. This world of trappings mean nothing. There is no hope for any of you. Duh. He had one of those boss shields, you know? Inspire. Let the power of the remnant burst. All right, stop being. The power Hi. threatens to break free. I, I can feel it. The power. I could consume it. Become stronger than I ever imagined. 
No. I can't give in to this temptation. I must remove the remnant from this place. Take it to the plane of my master. We need to talk one last time. You know, if he just made a portal before he tried to kill me, then we could have shoved him through the portal and uh... Okay, fine. Let's stop. Time is against us, my friend. I must remove the remnant from this place before it is too late. Alright. I, uh... I need you to do something for me first, though. What do you need? Adusa, my oldest, most trusted ally. Tell her that House Raven watches hers now. She must carry on our work, continue to train Gwendis, and any others who need her help. What? Why are you talking like this? Because I need to take this relic out of this realm. It needs to be transported to a place where it can't do any harm. I have made a deal with my master. Molek Ball has agreed to take me and the relic to Cold Harbor. You're giving the Lightless Remnant to Molek Ball? It is the only way to make certain that Rivenspire is saved. Molek Ball will take the relic into his realm. Rivenspire and all of Nern will be safe. Th there must be another way. The deal has already been made. It's either this or allow everyone to turn into the very fiends we worked so hard to save them from. Okay. There is no other way. Tell Gwendis that I will miss her. She was always so full of life. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, friend. You know, five minutes earlier, <laughs> if we had that portal, we could have just pushed the other guy through. Look, I'm just everyone. saying. We've got a survivor. What happened? Where's Verandis? Squirt home. I thought for sure that dropping a mountain on top of you would turn you into a fine paste. Not sure how you got out of there, but I'm glad I was wrong. Thank you. See, Squirt is not so bad. It's finally over, isn't it? What a terrible price we had to pay for this victory, though. A lot of good men and women died, including Verandis. For a vampire, he turned out to be an honorable man. Yes, he did. I should remember that. Hi. I'm glad the light saw fit to guide you back to us, my friend. Thank if you. not for you and Verandis, we all would have died in there. The Count's name will be remembered. I promise you that. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, scumbag. You actually survived the destruction of the Doomcrag? That's remarkable. I mean, I've seen you do some amazing things. I'll never forget our adventures in Glenumbra. But to walk out of a collapsed mountain? That's really impressive. Avranda still pointed me to safety at the last moment. That persnickety vampire really came through in the end. He was a good man for a Vampire, I mean. We won the day, and that's what matters. The people of Rivenspire are safe now. Yeah, we should get back soon. Before we go, you need to talk to Gwendis. She's I know. Alright, everyone. Let's gather up our injured and get out of here. He's really gone, there isn't he? right. There's nothing that's left a... for us here. We need to return to the High King and let him know what happened. Mage. He's we really gone, isn't he? The now. mighty <laughs> Verandis. I hate this. Moment. I really hate it. The it he sacrificed himself to save us all. Sacrificed? Like in dead? What do you mean he sacrificed himself? <laughs> um. He took the lightless remnant to Cold Harbor. It was the only way. No. Why'd you let him do that? Do you know how hard he worked to distance himself from the prince? If Arandis is still alive, the prince won't give him up easily. But why did he leave me here? I would have... I should have gone with him. <laughs> he did what he set out to do. He saved Rivenspire. Saved us? Doesn't feel like I was saved. But Verandus always carried a great weight on his shoulders. Maybe that's been lifted from him now. I can only hope, right? Uh, 
It's time to go, Quintus. Before we go, take this. Verandas gave it to me, and I can't keep it. You helped him so much. You should have it. You helped the man I cared about, the man I loved, and you were with him to the end. This belongs to you. Thank you. I need a little time to say my farewells. Don't worry about me. I won't do anything stupid. Promise. But you need to get back to Shornhelm. Without Verandas there, they're gonna need your help to figure out what happens next. What do you mean? All of this. It happened because Rivenspire doesn't have a true leader. If that doesn't change, it won't be long before the region falls into chaos once more. At least, that's what Verandas used to say. And what about you? I'll find my way. Verandas taught me well. And Adusa's back at the manor. She'll keep me company. Things will be all right. It'll just take time. Now go. Get out of here and go help the High King choose a ruler for Rivenspire. All right, all right. I'm on my way to show Let's go. All right. I know, I know. If we continue to progress through the Daggerfall Covenant, we will see him again. But, but it's always so sad. It always feels like maybe. Just maybe we won't. Speak very slow. Smell that air. Too soft. Smells like. House Montclair's hold on Shornhelm has been broken. But our job isn't done yet. What more needs to be done? Montclair loyalists still operate out of Shornhelm, yes? Oh. Whatever they are planning, we must know. They use couriers to pass messages, and that is how we shall find their informer. Alright, how, do... how do we find the informer? Adusa would sniff him out. But oh. for you, something more subtle. Start at the west gate. Find the courier named Guitot. Follow him. Watch him. He will try to pass a message. Watch and see who comes to find it. Alright, I'll find out who the courier is in contact with. Uh, we all wanna keep doing the main quest though. But we will, we will do that in a second. Hello. The longer I'm here, the better that need looks. I think I might head back to Fell's Run soon. Have you been having trouble with your drinking? No. I haven't had a drop since the day I got my constable job back. Oh, right. I haven't been tempted, though. I try to just stay away from it, which is why this probably isn't the best place for me to be. Ah, true, true. need to give you a nickname. Something like the knife. Mm. <laughs> How about the Doom Smasher? That sounds a little dark, I guess. I'll think about it. Are you going to stick around after this is all over? Nah, I'm not cut out to be a city guard. I think I'll go check out the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for someone of my caliber. All right. After a long talk with the Countess, it was decided that it would be best if I looked for other employment. I think she was just having a hard time dealing with her feelings for me. I expect she'll get all weepy when I'm gone. Yeah, so what's next, Saren? Well, now that she's no longer my lord and master, I might swing by and see if Iselde wants to indulge in any of her less theological fantasies. Oh, sweet Maybe. Mary. Ah, you're the one who killed that old skeever dark elf I was seeing. What was his name again? No matter. Uh, I owe you, though. This soldier business is a lot more fun than being a bandit. Alright, cool.
My friend from Horfrost? These two wouldn't be here if not for you. You should be proud. Julian and Sugar have turned out to be great soldiers. <laughs> That's Martin great. Martin couldn't cut it, though. Abandoned his post one night. I hear he's back in the stocks again. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm really enjoying the soldier's life. The thrill of oh. battle, the rush of victory. These are real feelings. Thinking about staying in the guard, mad as it may be, now that I know Gwendolyn's waiting for me, I really don't like her anymore. Oh, wow. Okay. That's in Banyan. Alright. Like I said, the more quests you do, the more people you can meet at the end. Delin's mill used to grow the sweetest berries in the spring. I wonder where we'll get them from now. All right. Hello, sir. So here we are. Baron Montclair's dead, and that d artifact is destroyed. Yes, you can pat yourself on the back, all right. You've saved Rivenspire, and that's no small thing. You do realize this creates a predicament for me, though, don't you? What's the problem? Well, I can't very well go on pretending the nobles can share the throne. Everyone knows what a colossal mistake I made there. I'm going to have to crown someone. Uh -huh. A king or a queen of Shornhelm. Someone to rule Rivenspire, don't you think? Yeah, it looks like people are expecting that. Exactly. So I have to choose. Countess Tamrith or Baron Dorel. Frankly, since you've recently fought alongside the two of them, I would appreciate your counsel. Speak to them, if you wish. Think about it, and then give me your recommendation. Okay. We've come through much to reach this point. We won a battle for the very soul of Rivenspire. Now comes the responsibility of rebuilding the kingdom. I hope High King Emmerich gives me the opportunity to lead us through the difficulties ahead. You think the High King should crown you as King sure now? I do. I've come to respect Countess Tamrith. She's a bright young woman, but she's not qualified to rule the kingdom. The coming days demand decisive leadership and a firm hand. You know that as well as I. That makes me the perfect choice. What would be your top priority as king? First things first. We need to rebuild our defenses. The Shornhelm Guard has been decimated by the Civil War, and we'll need to recruit and retrain hundreds of young men and women to restore our strength. So, his first priority is war and building an army. Okay. It's a miracle that we survived and triumphed over Montclair. Thanks, wait, Inna. wait. Let's talk to her sister and see how she's feeling. You face down Montclair and live to tell about it. I'm envious, you know. How have you been adapting to your new life? Things are going well. I even plan to resume my duties in the Guard. Oh. Gwendis has been very patient. I still have a hard time with the blood drinking business, but I'm learning. All right. My daughter may not be happy, but she learned a valuable lesson. Okay. A new ruler of Shornhelm. This is a huge moment for Rivenspire. We should all be honored to witness such a moment. Okay. Longer now. You face down, Countess. There we go. It's a miracle that we survived and triumphed over Montclair, thanks in no small part to my steady leadership. May RK grant the High King the wisdom to see that I am the best choice to lead Rivenspire. Okay, so you think the High King should crown you as Queen of Shornhelm? I do. Baron Dorel is a good man, but he can be dangerously short-tempered and is far too quick to act. True. Shornhelm has had enough impetuous rulers in its history. We True. need a thoughtful ruler who truly has the people's best interests at heart. Alright, what will be your first priority if crowned Queen? Helping the people of Rivenspire recover. So many of the Kingdom's subjects have been displaced. True. So many have lost loved ones. We must do what we can to restore the people's faith and get their lives back to at least a semblance of normalcy. True. 
All right, I made my choice. Take as much time as you like, my friend. It's only the High King and the entire kingdom of Rivenspire waiting. I'm ready to give you my recommendation. Good. Though I do hope you've given the matter due consideration. All this right. isn't like choosing which tunic to wear in the morning. It yeah. will affect many lives and mm. the future of the Daggerfall Covenant. Uh -huh. Tell me then, House Tamrith or House Dorel? Yeah, Countess Tamra. She's very young, but perhaps that means she will bring some much needed change. Very well. If that's your counsel, I will make Countess Tamrith the Queen of Shornhelm. Are you certain she is the best choice, though? Well, her own sister turned into a vampire, and even though she believed that vampires were evil her entire life, she, uh, she met that decision with Timberus and uh, gave her her sister the chance to prove that she wasn't evil, but also she was willing to make the decision to take her out if need be, even though she was family. And that, that is a tough decision. Whereas, uh, Terrell, he, um, he seems to make the same decisions over and over, no matter what the surrounding circumstances are. I don't, I don't think he could have made that kind of temporary decision. So yes, Countess Tamrith. The bright young Countess Tamrith, then. I know she is thoughtful, humble, and as sharp as an assassin's dagger. I am sure she will make a courageous queen. Queen Esseld of Shornhelm. It even has a nice ring to it. Yeah, I think Queen Esseldell will be an excellent ruler. Then it's decided. Thank you for your counsel. Both okay. Queen Esseld and myself will be in your debt. After all you've done, there's no reward that can express my gratitude, but please accept this gift. I'd feel guilty if I didn't give you something. Thank you. <clears throat> If I, right. might have I have a word with my husband's new best friend. I have decided to crown a new queen ah. of Shornhelm. Today is a fortuitous day indeed for Rivenspire, though. I fear other kingdoms within the Covenant may not be so lucky. I know that my husband considers you to be his champion, but I wonder if you might be willing to assist his queen as well? Of course, Your Majesty. How can I help? I have heard troubling news from Sentinel. Rumors say that enemies from my father's past have returned. I wrote oh. to him right away, of course, but as everyone knows, King Faharajad can be slow to respond. Still, I fear for his safety. All right. Who are these enemies from King F Faharajad's past? Necromancers. Their kind has not been seen in the Alakir Desert for years, but that only makes them more dangerous. If you can go to Sentinel and just ensure all is well, it would be a relief. I have made travel arrangements, if you are willing. Of course, just tell me where to go. Look for a ship called the Don Posset offshore at North Point. The first mate, Elvira Dere, should be waiting for you on the docks, ready to leave for Sentinel. When you get there, just make sure the city is safe. Only visit my father, if you wish. All right. Can I ask you a question before I go? Of course. I'm relieved already, just knowing that you will go. If there is any trouble there, I know my father could use help, whether he wants it or not. Okay. I'm sorry, you... I digress. You said you have a question. Can you tell me more about the necromancers? When I was very young, there was a necromancer, Satura. Oh. He raised an army of the dead and marched on Sentinel. Though my people will not fight the dead, somehow my father won the battle. If Satura has returned, though, it would be very bad. The people of Alkir won't fight the undead. No. It is a matter of faith. Our oh. people believe that desecrating the dead, even if they have been risen, is a terrible dishonor. <coughs> oh. This is why a necromancer in Sentinel would be a very bad thing, and why I am concerned for my father's safety. Okay. 